What's up guys, this is Brolicon, I'm back. I'm doing a video response to Kid Shuriken's uh, 500 uh, sub contest. Uh, he's out in Japan, uh, so konnichiwa, brother. <laughs> All right, so um, the contest is about an underrated game. And the underrated game that I have that Honestly, I saw that good goodwill with a couple other games for a dollar each. I got it, decided to get it because I collect you know, the games. Um, never played it till about two weeks ago. I saw a review of, of it on online from a subscriber that I watched his channel. So I'm watching. And I was like, yeah, pretty decent, decent, decent game. Now at first I thought it was just like a role playing RPG, but it's not. It's more like Final Fight. It, it's called Knights of the Round Table. Oh, sorry, Knights of the Round. And it's basically the story of King Arthur. Um, he gets the sword, Excalibur, him, Lance a lot, and another character. You get to, you get to choose three. Uh, it's two-player mode, and it's a walking fighting game. <clears throat> Honestly, at first I had to please ig ig ignorance on this. I thought it was stupid, but it's an excellent game. Once I put it in, I could not stop playing till I beat the game. Um, it's an excellent game, and when I beat it <laughs> on regular mode, I put on the game G to get uh, you know some extra codes and wep wep weapons and stuff, power ups, and I beat it then too. So, I personally think Nice of the Round is an underrated game. If you don't got it, it goes for about fifteen bucks on eBay. Very good title. It's made by Capcom. So, <sighs> honestly, I even think. Everybody else underrated this game because when I look to find cheat codes, there are none. The only cheat codes there are are for the Game Genie for the Super Nintendo, which is rare. So I don't even think the company thought this would be a very popular fighting game. But honestly, once again, I endorse Knights of the Round by Capcom. And uh, go out there, get it, and uh, to kid sure you can uh, sayonara, man. Bye.